Number six. A modern picture. Sally Jones is five years old. She goes to school every day. She paints pictures and brings them home. Sally shows the pictures to her mother. Her mother can't understand them. What is that, Sally? It's a house. And what are these? These are rooms. This room is the kitchen. That is my bedroom. What are those green lines? They're trees, Mum. They're trees. This tree is in the sky. Is this an aeroplane? It's not an aeroplane, Mum. It's you. You're in the sky, too. Assalamualaikum. Welcome to Ecombosoft Online English Training. Okay, we are now in lesson 28. Kita sudah sekarang di pelajaran 28. In this lesson, we will practice how to use sentences. Pada pelajaran ini, kita akan berlatih bagaimana menggunakan kalimat in the simple past tense. Okay? In this lesson, we will practice how to use sentences in the simple past tense. And of course, dan tentu saja before that, sebelum itu, let's review our previous lessons first. Mari kita meninjau pelajaran kita sebelumnya. Firstly, pertama-tama, as usual, I want you to listen to story number six. Seperti biasa, as usual, I want you to listen to story number six. Saya ingin Anda mendengarkan cerita nomor enam about Sally Jones. Okay? Listen to the story carefully. Dengarkan cerita itu dengan seksama. And back again to answer all the questions. Lalu balik lagi untuk menjawab semua pertanyaan-pertanyaan ini. Okay? Please do it now. Hello, you're back again. That means you really understand the story. Itu berarti that means you really understand the story. Anda benar-benar memahami cerita tersebut. And you are ready to answer all the questions about Sally Jones. Dan Anda siap menjawab semua pertanyaan tentang Sally Jones. Let's begin with part 1. Mari kita mulai dengan part 1. In part 1, I just want you to answer all the questions completely. Dalam bagian satu ini, saya hanya, I just, saya cuma, I just want you, saya cuma ingin Anda. I just want you to answer all the questions, semua pertanyaan. Completely, secara lengkap, as usual, seperti biasa. Okay, get ready, number one. Is Sally six years old? Good. She is not six years old. Number two, how old is she? Good, she is five years old. Three, does she go to school every day? Good. Yes, she goes to school every day. Four. Is her hobby music? Good. No, her hobby is not music. Five. Is her hobby painting? Good. Yes, her hobby is painting. Six. Does she paint pictures at home? Good. No, she doesn't paint pictures at home. 7. Where does she paint pictures? Good. She paints pictures at school. She paints pakai S. She paints pictures at school. 8. Does she show the pictures to her father? Good. No, she doesn't show the pictures to her father. 9. Who does she show the pictures? Good. She shows the pictures to her mother. She shows the pictures to her mother. 10. Can her mother understand them? 
good. No, her mother can't understand them. Atau, no, she can't understand them. Eleven. Talking about the picture, bicara tentang gambar. Is it a house? Good. Yes, it is a house. Twelve. Is there a tree in the picture? Good. Yes, there is a tree in the picture. So yes, there is a tree in the picture. Dalam percakapan hari-hari mereka tidak bilang there is atau there's tapi this. Yes, there's a tree in the picture. Thirteen. Is the tree in front of the house? Good. No, the tree isn't in front of the house. Atau no, the tree is not in front of the house. Atau no, it isn't in front of the house. Terserah anda yang mana. Fourteen. Where is the tree? Good. The tree is in the sky. Fifteen. Is her mother in the picture? Yes, her mother is in the picture too. Sixteen. Is her mother in the kitchen? Good. No, her mother is not in the kitchen. Seventeen. Where is her mother? Good. Her mother is in the sky. Eighteen. Will Sally paint pictures again tomorrow? Will Sally... Paint pictures again tomorrow. Good, yes, Sally will paint. Sally will paint pictures again tomorrow. Nineteen. Where will she paint pictures? Good, she will paint pictures at school. Twenty. Will Sally bring them home? Good. Yes, Sally will bring them home. Good. I'm happy, and I hope, dan saya berharap, starting from today, your English will be improving very fast. Mulai hari ini, starting from today, your English will be improving, bahasa Inggris Anda akan improving, meningkat, Very fast, dengan sangat cepat. Because I begin teaching you in English. Karena saya mulai mengajar Anda. Begin, mulai teaching you in English. Mengajar Anda dalam bahasa Inggris. Of course, slowly. Tentu saja dengan perlahan-lahan. By the way, ngomong-ngomong. Are you an authorized student? Authorized student. Apakah Anda siswa resmi? Are you an authorized student of Ecombosoft Online English Training? Apakah Anda siswa yang sah dari Ecomposoft Online English Training? Just confirm by SMS. Konfirmasi saja melalui SMS to my phone number 0819059777707. Okay? May God bless your English. Semoga Tuhan memberkati bahasa Inggris Anda. Your money And may your English to be benefit for you in the future. Semoga Tuhan memberkati bahasa Inggris Anda. Uang Anda dan bahasa Inggris Anda menjadi satu manfaat dan barokah di masa datang. Okay, let's now continue to the next questions. Okay, mari kita lanjut saja kepada pelajaran, uh, pertanyaan berikutnya. Now I want you to give only short answers. Okay? Sekarang saya minta Anda menjawab dengan singkat saja. Ready? Is Sally six years old? Good. No, she isn't. Two. How old is she? Good. She is five years old. Three. Does she go to school every day? Good. Yes, she does. Four. Is her hobby music? Good. No, it isn't. Five. Is her hobby painting? Good. Yes, it is. Six. Does she paint pictures at home? Good. No, she doesn't. Seven. Where does she paint pictures? Good. She paints pictures at school. 
Hey, does she show the pictures to her father? Good, no, she doesn't. Nine, who does she show the pictures? Good, she shows the pictures to her mother. Ten, can her mother understand them? Good, no, she can't. Eleven, talking about the pictures, is it a house? Good, yes, it is. Twelve, is there a tree in the picture? Good, yes, there is. Thirteen, is the tree in front of the house? Good, no, it isn't. Fourteen, where is the tree? Good, the tree is in the sky. Fifteen, is her mother in the picture too? Good, yes, she is. Sixteen, is her mother in the kitchen? Good, no, she isn't. Where is her mother? Good, she is in the sky. Eighteen. Will Sally paint pictures again tomorrow? Good, yes, she will. Nineteen. Where will she paint pictures? Good, she will paint pictures at school. Twenty. Will Sally bring them home? Good, Sally will bring them home. Okay, uh, it's not over yet. Sebelum berakhir, let's continue to the last part. Mari kita masuk pada bagian terakhir, part 3. Back again to question number 1. But now you must answer. Tapi kali ini Anda harus menjawab. You must answer my questions in short and complete answer. Okay, read. Number 1. Is Sally 6 years old? Good, no, she isn't. She isn't six years old. Two, how old is she? Good, she is five years old. Three, does she go to school every day? Good, yes, she does. She goes to school every day. Four, is her hobby music? Good, no, it isn't. Her hobby is not music. Five. Is her hobby painting? Good, yes it is. Her hobby is painting. Six, does she paint pictures at home? Good, no she doesn't. She doesn't paint pictures at home. Seven, where does she paint pictures? Good, she paints pictures at school. Eight, does she show the pictures to her father? Good, no she doesn't. She doesn't show the pictures to her father. 9. Who does she show the pictures? Good, she shows the pictures to her mother. She shows, okay, yes, the pictures to her mother. 10. Can her mother understand them? Good, no, she can't. She can't understand them. 11. Talking about the picture. Is it a house? Good, yes, it is. It is a house. 12. Is there a tree in the picture? Good, yes, there is. There is a tree in the picture. 13. Is the tree in front of the house? Good, no, it isn't. It isn't in front of the house. 14. Where is the tree? Good, the tree is in the sky. Atau, it is in the sky. 15. Is her mother in the picture too? Good, yes, she is. She is in the picture too. 16. Is her mother in the kitchen? Good, no, she isn't. She isn't in the kitchen. 17. Where is her mother? Good, she is in the sky. 
18. Will Sally paint pictures again tomorrow? Good. Yes, she will. She will paint pictures again tomorrow. 19. Where will she paint pictures? Good. She will paint pictures at school. 20. Will Sally bring them home? Good. Yes, she will. She will bring them home. Okay. Okay, it's not over yet. Belum berakhir. Here comes review 2 as usual. Tiba lah saatnya review 2. The challenging part for you. Bagian yang sangat menantang. The challenging part for you. As usual, seperti biasa, I want you to prepare it first. Saya ingin Anda prepare, menyiapkan. I want you to prepare it first. Menyiapkan dulu in written, secara tertulis. Then memorize it, kemudian menghafalkannya. And finally, dan akhirnya, retell it, menceritakannya kembali, orally, secara lisan. If you have any difficulties or questions, kalau Anda punya kesulitan atau pertanyaan, you can SMS me. Anda bisa SMS saya directly, secara langsung, to... 0819059 or directly to my email. Okay, right. In review 2, as usual, you have three different tasks. Anda punya tiga tugas yang berbeda of retelling. Part A, you are the writer. And then B, you are Sally Jones. And C, you are her mother. So, of course, you must prepare it first carefully. Memorize it and tell it orally, fluently, dengan lancar. Okay, now it's time to begin our new lesson. Sudah saatnya kita mulai pelajaran baru kita. It is about the simple past tense, but in verbal form. Tentang simple past, tapi dalam bentuk verbal. The meaning of past, arti daripada past, is masa lalu. Simple is sederhana. So, we can say that the meaning of the simple past tense, jadi kita bisa mengatakan, so we can say that the meaning of the simple past tense, arti daripada simple past tense, is tenses untuk menceritakan masa lalu secara sederhana. Yeah, for example, I was born in 1973, saya lahir tahun 73, itu masa lalu, Kita menggunakan bentuk dua, was. We don't say I'm born, but I was born. Okay? Another example, yesterday I went to Bali. Yesterday, kemarin, I went. Kita tidak mengatakan I go. We don't say I go, but we say I went. We use verb to. Kita menggunakan verb dua, or verb past tense, atau verb past tense. Okay? In English, dalam bahasa Inggris, okay, we use verb to or to be to. Kita menggunakan verb dua atau to be dua. Simply say, gampangnya kita katakan predicate to, predicate dua. To express everything in the past, untuk menceritakan apapun dalam bentuk lampau. Okay. In the last lesson 27, dalam pelajaran 27 yang lalu, we practiced all the simple past tense, but with to be to. Kita berlatih semua kalimat past tense, tapi dengan to be bentuk dua, or predicate to. But now, tapi sekarang, we are going to practice. Kita akan berlatih how to use the simple past with verb to. Kita akan berlatih bagaimana menggunakan simple past dengan verb dua. Okay. Look, you can see below, Anda bisa melihat di bawah, a picture, let's say a picture of mine, anggap saja gambar saya. Okay, and also a table of schedule, table jadwal, and of course, as usual, I'll tell you the story. Dan seperti biasa, ya saya akan mengatakan pada Anda, the story about the picture, so listen very carefully. Hello, my name is Teguh Handoko and I'm a businessman. My phone number is 0819059779907 and I'm very busy. Last Sunday I went to Rome but I didn't go to Italy. 
Last Monday I went to France, but I didn't go to Paris. Last Tuesday I went to Japan, but I didn't go to Tokyo. Last Wednesday I went to England, but I didn't go to London. Last Thursday I went to Australia, but I didn't go to Sydney. Last Friday I went to Spain, but I didn't go to Barcelona. Okay, that's all. I hope you can understand the meaning of the sentences. Saya harap Anda bisa memahami the meaning, arti daripada the sentences, kalimat-kalimat in the story. Okay? The meaning of last, ya, yeah, last Sunday, that means minggu lalu. Last Sunday, I went to Rome. Minggu lalu, saya pergi ke Roma, but I didn't go to Italy. Tapi saya tidak pergi ke Italy. Here you don't say I didn't went. Di sini Anda tidak mengatakan I didn't went. Because did is already in the past tense form. Karena did sudah dalam bentuk past tense, maka went berubah menjadi go. I didn't go. Okay, let me repeat the story for the second time. And please repeat after me. Saya ulangi cerita ini for the second time untuk yang kedua kali. And you repeat dan Anda mengulang setelah saya. And you repeat after me. Ready? My name is Teguh Handoko. I'm a businessman. Good, businessman. Man, bukan businessman. Ingat pronunciation Anda. Remember your pronunciation. You don't say businessman, but business. Man, I'm a businessman. Okay? Okay, let's continue. My phone number is 0819059777907. Good. Last Sunday, I went to Rome, but I didn't go to Italy. Last Monday, I went to France, but I didn't go to Paris. Last Tuesday, I went to Japan, but I didn't go to Tokyo. Last Wednesday, I went to England, but I didn't go to London. Last Thursday, I went to Australia, but I didn't go to Sydney. Last Friday, I went to Spain, but I didn't go to Barcelona. Okay, thank you. That's all about the story. Now it's your turn. Sekarang giliran Anda. Please push. Silakan tekan. Please push the pause button. Silakan tekan tombol pause. And you retell the story by yourself. Dan Anda menceritakan kembali cerita tadi by yourself sendiri. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're not tired yet, are you? Anda belum lelah, bukan? Okay. Because now it's time for me to ask you the story. Sekarang tiba giliran saya menanyakan pada Anda cerita tadi. As usual, to make sure whether you understand or not. Seperti biasa, to make sure untuk memastikan whether you understand. Apakah Anda mengerti or not? Okay. Uh, in this section, you must answer all my questions completely. Dalam section ini, anda harus menjawab pertanyaan saya completely dengan lengkap. Okay. Go ready. Listen carefully. Number one. Is your name Yusrifin Ali? Good. No, my name is not Yusrifin Ali. What's your name? Good. My name is Teguh Handoko. Are you a teacher? Good. What are you? Good, I'm a businessman. What's your phone number? Good. By the way, did you go to Rome last Sunday? Good, yes, I went to Rome last Sunday. Did you go to France last Monday? Good, I went to France last Monday. 
Did you go to Japan last Tuesday? Good. Yes, I went to Japan last Tuesday. Did you go to England last Wednesday? Good. Yes, I went to England last Wednesday. Did you go to Australia last Thursday? Good. Yes, I went to Australia last Thursday. Did you go to Spain last Friday? Good. Yes, I went to Spain last Friday. Okay, ready back again to number one. You look at the chart, you, and I'm sorry, you look at the table. Andalia table. Okay, ready to answer my questions again completely. Last Sunday, did you go to Italy? Good, no, I didn't go to Italy. Last Monday, did you go to Paris? Good, no, I didn't go to Paris. Last Tuesday, did you go to Tokyo? Good, no, I didn't go to Tokyo. Last Wednesday, did you go to London? Good, no, I didn't go to London. Last Thursday, did you go to Sydney? Good, no, I didn't go to Sydney. Last Friday, did you go to Barcelona? Good, no, I didn't go to Barcelona. Didn't, singkatan daripada, did not. Didn't is the contraction form of did not. So you can say, Anda bisa mengatakan did not or didn't. Okay, sekarang kita masuk bagian structure. Dan agar Anda memahami, Kali ini saya menggunakan bahasa Indonesia, karena tujuannya adalah Anda memahami struktur ini. Yang tadi kita pelajari adalah simple past, ada yang menyebut simple past tense atau apapun. Simple past ada dua jenis, yang with to be, dengan to be, Anda lihat A, contohnya I was in Rome last Sunday. Itu adalah simple past, tapi dengan to be. Dan Anda sudah tahu, semua kalimat yang ada to be-nya pasti. Tidak bisa ditawar lagi. Pasti tidak punya verb. Sedangkan yang B adalah simple past with verb. Dengan kata kerja verb. Disebut juga verbal. Contohnya, I went to Rome last Sunday. Di situ Anda lihat ada verb. Went. Dan setiap kalimat yang sudah punya verb. Pasti tidak bisa ditawar lagi. Pasti tidak punya to be. Oke? Okay? Anda lihat di sini bahwa simple past itu selalu menggunakan predikat to, predikat bentuk dua. Berarti to be dua atau verb dua. Karena yang disebut predikat itu hanya to be dan verb. Oke, okay. jadi kalau saya mengatakan predikat dua, berarti to be dua atau verb dua. Contohnya I was, tidak I am. I went, tidak I go. Oke, okay. Anda lihat di bawahnya ada tabel. Itu adalah perubahan kata kerja, bentuk sekarang, predikat satu, disebut juga bentuk present. Jadi kalau ada orang bertanya, apa predikat bentuk present daripada when? Oke, okay, itu sama saja apa predikat satu daripada when? Sama saja apa verb satunya when? Oke. Okay. Kemudian predikat two, itu ada orang menyebutnya juga sebagai past. Oke, okay. sedangkan predikat 3, ini nggak usah dipikirkan dulu, yaitu participle. Jadi, kata kerja berubah tiga kali. Contohnya, go, went, gone. Sing, sang, sang. Cut, cut, cut. Walk, walked, walked. Work, worked, worked. Kill, killed, killed. Anda pernah mempelajari pronunciation, bunyi tumpul, bunyi tajam. Tolong dilihat lagi bagaimana walk dibaca walk tajam. Tetapi kalau kill, killed, tumpul. Oke. Okay. Singkatnya, verb berubah tiga kali. Begitu pula to be berubah tiga kali. Karena kedua-duanya sama-sama predikat. Dan ini harus Anda hafal. Jadi nanti tugas Anda membuka kamus, menghafal perubahan kata kerja. Oke. Okay. Anda lihat di bawahnya bandingan antara simple present dengan simple past. 
Simple past itu sama pada prinsipnya. Simple past adalah bentuk tensis untuk menyatakan kejadian di masa lalu. Kalau masa sekarangnya simple present. Contohnya, you go to school, Anda lihat. Di bawahnya, you do not go to school every day. Di bawahnya, do you go to school every day. Ini adalah bentuk simple present. Di sebelah kanannya, you went to school yesterday. Anda pergi ke sekolah kemarin. You did. Nah, kenapa did? Karena do, bentuk duanya adalah did. Jadi, Anda mengatakan you did. You did not go to school yesterday. Atau didn't. Ingat, tidak you didn't went, tetapi menjadi verb satu kembali. You didn't go. Oke. Okay. Did you go? Tidak did you went. Karena did sudah dalam bentuk past tense. Tidak boleh ada dua bentuk past tense dalam satu kalimat. Oke. Okay. Right. Mari kita lanjutkan di bawahnya. Ini adalah contoh perubahan verb atau kata kerja. Ada yang beraturan, ada yang irregular, tidak beraturan. Yang beraturan contohnya learn, learned, learned, prepare, prepared, prepared, ask, asked, asked, dan seterusnya. Ini tidak mempunyai rumus, jadi nanti Anda harus membuka kamus. Oke. Okay. Okay, now let's go to practice two. This practice two is very easy. What you must do is to transform the sentences into negative and interrogative. As you see in the example, you went to school, you didn't go to school. Did you go to school? Only that. Okay? Do it orally and also in written. Kerjakan secara lisan dan juga in written. Tertulis. Okay? For practice 3, untuk latihan 3, you have a short reading comprehension. Anda mempunyai bacaan singkat untuk pemahaman. What I want you to do, apa yang saya ingin Anda lakukan, is to read and to understand the story. Adalah untuk membaca dan memahami cerita. Of course, if you feel difficult, tentu saja kalau Anda merasa sukar, you can consult your dictionary. Anda bisa mengkonsultasikan kamus Anda. Okay, now let me read the story for you first. Okay? My name is Gustin and my full name is Gustin Prayogo. I'm 30 years old, but I'm not married yet. I was born in Malang. I was born January the 3rd, 1979. I'm Javanese. I come from Malang, but now I live in Jakarta. Oh yes, I'm a graduate of Ikit Malang. I graduated in 2003. My major of study is biology, but I like English very much. Because I think English is very important for my career. Last month, I saw a website. It was Ecomposoft, and the teacher was Mr. Tegu. He gave me some free lessons from 1 up to 6, and I tried all the lessons. I was surprised the lessons were very easy and fun. After that, I registered directly. Now I'm a student of Ecomposoft. I always practice the lessons diligently every day. Now I can speak English well. Besides that, I'm also active in learning grammar. I'm an authorized student of Ecomposoft Online English Training. That's why I can contact my teacher in 0819 That's all for today. Thank you. Okay? Saya minta Anda memahami bacaan ini karena pertemuan berikutnya bacaan ini akan kita diskusikan. Jadi Anda tidak usah menghafal, tapi cukup dipahami. And then last but not least, yang terakhir tapi bukan berarti tidak penting, practice for. Coba Anda lakukan latihan ini secara tertulis, yaitu membuat menjadi negatif dan interrogatif untuk persiapan-persiapan menghadapi ujian akhir nanti. Oke. Okay. Okay, that's all for 